first of all, thank everyone for, you know, coming out here, you know, on kind of a little bit of short, short notice, but um, obviously as we're aware today, you know, it is 9-11, um, in my opinion, the day that forever changed the free world um, and our way of life, not only here in the United States, Great Britain and all of our allies, you know, for someone like myself, you know, I was only taught there would happen for some of us that are standing among us. They were in elementary school, high school, junior high, kids. You know, and everything changed just in that short time span. And, you know, kind of realized on how fragile life really is. You know, I keep seeing things, you know, on Facebook and uh, Instagram and all of our, you know, social media outlets that we have today that we're lucky to have, you know, bring up some images that we've never seen, you know, and also kind of the bravery that New York's finest had to, uh, had on that day, not only from the emergency personnel, but the citizens of New York as well. In that short time frame, we put all of our beliefs, religions, and off to the side. We no longer wore different colors, again, regardless of race, gender or what we believe in personally at that point we all bled red white and blue we we're Americans so today's following helped bring us together as a nation and as a family each time this gear comes around we remind ourselves what we can do to honor those and made the ultimate sacrifice for those that went overseas and those that every day put on our uniforms that we wear and go do this job I'd like to share a little story that one of my uh, family friends a retired uh, master sergeant of the United States Marine Corps he was 18 years old when 9-11 happened. He was in uh, what's considered grass week or rifle range week when 9-11 happened. He told me one time that they just got finished, you know, practicing that day. Well, we're just about ready to go and start their day at the range when their drill instructors ran up to them and pull them aside to break the news. Those young men and women at that time had no idea what was about to happen. That we were going into war. That their lives alone are changed. Just from that one, well, those simple words. He remembers it very clearly. His senior drill instructor very very strong man told me he never laughed never smiled never showed any signs of emotion that was the one time he saw him break down and cry like i said it earlier some of us were only two three years old but now even as life goes on the world continues to move on you know you've got younger generations now that are learning about this to this day and how their world has been changed as well. So as we go out today and do our jobs, whether it be on the LEO side, fire side, take the time to remember those that paid the, made the ultimate sacrifice climbing up those towers and those that lost their lives the following days due to other illnesses related to this. Y'all don't mind and bow our heads when we're gonna pray before we all break away and go on our go on our day. Heavenly Father, I ask you today you watch over every single one of these members here in San Andreas. I ask that you guide them through their duties, their lives, and whatever personal hobbies they have. Watch over them as they respond to calls and help them guide each other on, during today and the rest of their career. I also ask that 
We will continue to watch over the other firefighters, state troopers, sheriff officers, and police officers across America as they also grieve on this day to remember those that they lost throughout this year. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, if you all join me for a moment of silence. Or radio. Go ahead. You can go and start the moment of silence, please. Alrighty, and that concludes everything here again. Thank you guys for coming out. And we'll see you out there on the streets. Thank you everyone for coming. Thank y'all. Appreciate it. Firefighters, don't move. Stay right where you're at. <laughs>